This is the Miller Rods Switch Freak. It's a medium heavy bait cast rod, 7 foot 3, and it's designed for versatility, both in the freshwater and in the lighter saltwater applications. I actually designed this rod originally for the American largemouth bass fishing scene, and it was designed to fish pretty much every bait you wanted to throw that was in the 1 to 1.5 ounce bracket. So any lure that's 10 to 50 grams in the metric will be really fishable on this rod. That means it's a bit of a crossover rod if you wanted a, a rod for like a heavy golden perch rod or a light barra rod. It really is probably most popular as a finesse Murray Cod style rod. Because it can throw a large number of lures in terms of uh, techniques and hook styles, um, it really means you, you'll get a lot out of just owning one of the switch freak rods. It's probably found a real niche as a frog rod. Uh, it's, just, it's just the right length and the right amount of power to cast a topwater lure like that and be really accurate because it's seven foot three, it's at the longer end for a river situation, but it's also usable in a lake situation as well if you're fishing to targets, if you're looking for accuracy. And that's where it's really found its niche in Australia. This is uh, reasonably powerful, but it's also extremely sensible. It's really well balanced. So for all those techniques that require uh, like a, a rod tip up type presentation or a neutral presentation, it's effortless to use. And of course, for your tip down presentations like spinner baits and that sort of thing, it just makes it super, super sensitive. You can always feel what's going on with the lure, whether the blades are turning properly and that sort of thing. To look at the componentry on the rod, we've got the Control Freak style handle, the Fuji skeleton seat, so that just aids in, in getting that feedback through the rod to your hand. There's minimal amount of hardware in the handle. The EVA is a custom shape to be nice and ergonomic and they're only where you need them to be. I converted this rod from the American one piece style to the detachable handle style. Just makes it a little bit easier for us in Australia to, to store and transport. And I changed the guide train over from the ultralight single foot guides that are mainly used on the American rods to the Fuji KW frame, which is the double foot frame and it's just a little bit stronger and sturdier. Now, I like a lot of guides on these style bait cast rods because it makes the operation really smooth and it actually increases the feedback you get through the rod with more guides because each guide actually acts as a little conduit to put vibrations into the, into the blank. So this is a 7 foot 3 rod but it has 11 guides plus tip top. This 11 plus 1 multi guide train not only keeps the line flowing smoothly but it enhances the really smooth action of this blank. So the Switch Freak does have a really nice bend to it. It makes your casting really easy and it also helps in the versatility of what hook types you want to use. You don't want to have an, a blank action that's too aggressive when you're casting a lure that's loaded with treble hooks because it tends to jerk pretty hard on that hook hold and a lot of treble hooks don't have a good hook hold to start with. So a super smooth action will really aid in converting your hookups to landings and like I said, you can throw a bunch of different lures on this rod and it'll handle them all really well. So that's the Switch Freak. You can check it out at your local retailer. Check our website for the closest retail partner to you. You can see the full specs on our website. So jump on and visit millerrods.com.au.